we're going to turn to the other major news this Friday night on the economy and the prices you're paying. You don't need us to tell you what you're seeing already. The new report out tonight showing inflation is now near a 40-year high in this country. Consumer prices up 0.8% last month alone. Year to year, prices up now 6.8%. Americans are paying more for gas, food, clothing, and cars. Tonight, President Biden acknowledging it is squeezing many families across this country. He pointed to the pandemic, the supply issues, not just in the U.S., but around the world. But we know there are many moving parts on this. Businesses looking for workers. So when does this start to ease up and what will it take? Here's our chief business and economics correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, again tonight. Tonight, Americans crushed under the highest inflation levels in nearly four decades. The price of almost everything is going up, and it's going up very quickly. Consumer prices last month surging nearly 7% compared to one year ago, the fastest pace since 1982. People are spending a lot more um, than they were before. And as people buy more, that's driving up prices. President Biden today blaming supply chain issues and assuring the rising prices are temporary. It's a real bump in the road. It does affect families. It's not gone down quickly enough, but I think it will. The biggest inflation explosion in a generation coming as unemployment falls to near pre-pandemic levels and job openings outnumber those looking for work. But the soaring costs are unavoidable. What you used to get, no problem. Now you have to say, okay, maybe I'll get it next month. Grocery prices up nearly 6.5%. Meats, poultry, fish and eggs up nearly 13%. With beef rising more than 20%. Housing up nearly 4%, gas prices jumping to their highest level in seven years, and used cars and trucks climbing more than 30% from last year. Our Victor Akendo is in Miami, where that increase has people rushing to buy cars. Cars are moving so quickly here at Prestige Auto Miami, the manager tells me that his customers aren't even coming to the lot, much less test driving them. He's selling half of his cars through FaceTime. Customers are eager to buy before prices jump again. They want to secure the car because there's no cars. For really seeing it everywhere, Rebecca joined us tonight. And Rebecca, we were watching the president today blaming uh, the supply chain crisis, calling the rise uh, in inflation a bump in the road, saying uh, hopefully it's only temporary. We also, though, have these competing headlines. We just reported on jobless claims plunging to a 52-year low, fewer Americans actually filing for unemployment. So it seems like a bunch of competing factors out there. So are these prices here for a while, these skyrocketing prices? What do we have to watch here? Well, David, most economists do see these prices as more than a bump in the road. They expect inflation to persist through next spring. And remember, these supply chain issues are global caused by the pandemic. But there are also, as you point to, labor shortages, issues of people, many Americans waiting to return to work until they see wages rise more significantly, having saved up $2 trillion throughout the course of the pandemic by not dining out, by not traveling. Expectations are now that the federal Reserve will have to step in and hike interest rates next year in order to cool things off, David. All right, tracking it all. Rebecca Jarvis tonight. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.